Okay, we're back after that mishap that happened. Uh, so it's it's been like a a week or so since the last recording session because I had to go out and buy a new copy of the game because my uh, current disc was just some. I guess it's just showing its age because uh, sometimes when I go into a level, it'll just not load properly and it'll just be stuck in loading hell, and I don't want to have to worry about that for the rest of the playthrough, so I just bought a, um, a new copy of the game. It's not Platinum Hits, unfortunately, so you're probably going to have to be dealing with a little bit of load times that are a little bit longer, but if it's the price uh, to pay, then so be it, so whatever. And, uh, I also had, I also, uh, just for curiosity's sake, went back to do Water Crunch, just to see if, um, it's any any easier with a death tornado spin and double jump? It's not, <laughs> not really. It still sucks. So you know, that's a thing. Oh my gosh, crash moves like molasses on these monkey bars. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's just like they brought a mechanic back, but make it a million times worse for no real reason. It's like if you're gonna bring it back, at least make it as fun as it was before. Like, why is it so slow? Heard Legends of Crash Mania back when it was still, back when the forms were still open. The speed was laughably slow, but like this. Run! Wow! Crush Mania. Yeah, love the enthusiast site for Crash Bandicoot. Mm. Yeah. Also, I should not uh, mention this. Uh, the when the top the ceiling monkey bars get electrified, you'll just automatically drop. But the ones on the floor do will actually damage you. So. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Man. Th this level um, is not great, by the way. Like, it, it starts off with the uh, slow monkey bars, and then it goes into an even slower mu mech section with really awkward aiming controls. And this is one of my least favorite levels to speedrun in. Like, it, it just takes forever, and if you die, you have to do all that, all that stuff again. It's not fun. <laughs> Go back for the TNT crate. Oh wait, what? TNT crate. Uh oh, I thought that was a nitro for some reason. Yeah, screw your walking on nitros crap. <laughs> Death tornado spin isn't isn't as uh, useful as it was in Crash Free because it doesn't. You go down much faster than in that game, so you can't really make massive shortcuts so I guess in a sense they nerfed it but yeah here we go All right here comes a cover gimmick yeah but yeah it's basically you basically just get a bazooka in a mag uh, and you have a mass, a, a much larger hitbox. Like the the thing that makes it awkward is the way the reticle just disappears until you like aim at the box. Like I don't understand how you're supposed to do this properly. Yeah, I'm guessing you have to stay still to aim. Yeah, if you, well, you it basically just as soon as you press square, it will just do the aiming thing. You can't, you don't have any like melee attacks or anything. Yeah, there's not much to say about this. It just kind of sucks. They're just trying to avoid the enemies at all costs. Yeah, I just can't be bored. And if you stand still, you have to do this really awkward and long. Jump animation.
Uh. Can, you still use a, can you still, like, jump on enemies that would be jumped on normally? I believe so, but... Uh, the hitbox is kind of awkward with this thing. So I'm just kind of ignoring the enemy enemies as much as I can. At least you made it to the first checkpoint of the level. Yeah. This level uh, also goes on for quite a bit. Huh? That was the second checkpoint. Hmm. Also, as you should notice in the background, uh, the it's this there's, there's a sound effect of the that was close uh, of the loading screen, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you didn't hear that sound enough, I guess. But no, because right now everything's muted. Uh, <laughs> you get to be spared. Okay, this guy's way too close. So, like, why is it? Hmm. I don't get why they had to make it so awkward. Alright, we have this to do. Uh, is there a checkpoint here? Okay, good. Gem route with the mech. That sounds lovely. I don't rem <coughs> I don't remember what this is. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this pathway at all. They, they take you back, probably implies that some backtracking happening. <laughs> can I just walk for you guys? Oh my goodness, I can. Oh, I don't like this guy. Yeah. I think you'd be better off just taking your time and. I'm supposed to use my bazooka thing, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's stuff like this too, like... It's dark. I can't tell if there's a pit there or not. Wait, if you... You, you lost all the crates that you broke on the way there. Oh, that that that's that's fine because it ha that happened that happened in one of the Coco levels too, where they have like a nitro box underneath a regular box. The nitro box is going to destroy it, so it's fine. Uh, stuff like this, I can get rid of this. Die wall. Kill this enemy too. Random box up there. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Yeah. I don't think there's much left, but... Yep. Okay, please say we got all of them. Nice. And then random pit, just because... Ball. Hmm? Disco ball at the end of the level? Yeah. <laughs> just say, just random disco party, because why not? Yeah. The, the... The thing with the mech is, is that a noise that is just annoying is that it just completely kills the pace. Like, it's just not fun to play. Oh no! Why? I. Uh, mm. Crappy level to another crappy level. But you, you wanted to do everything out of order. <laughs> two levels you hate consecutively. Yeah. Well, t t well I, di I did um, do... It was a, the, a good idea to do 
the mech level now because of how we we uh we got the loading screen issue because i'd have to play it twice otherwise but still this is a water level and you start in a submarine and it sucks it sucks so bad Ugh. that was look pretty at least it doesn't look too bad graphically yeah oh, i just really oh crap that was close I, I just realized we have the Death Tornado spin now, so we can technically speed run the other water level. Yeah, man. I don't want to, but we may as well. Get the crap out of the way. And also, it's a water level, so... Crap. Considering like how wide the level the water levels are in this game, it, it's it, again it's so easy to miss random boxes, and I just I hate it. <laughs> Especially when they just hide things all the time. I just do this. Yeah. I'm assuming this is all new to you. Very much. Well. You really like to hide the nitro crates and just find the scenery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could just skip this level. Yo, I just no realized uh, the... Uh, you, well, you can't hear it, unfortunately. We're having Discord issues right now, but... Uh, the music here kind of sounds like something out of The Incredibles. It's kind of, kind of funny. Where's my super suit? How come the C mine doesn't tr trigger the nitro crate? I was wondering that too, yeah. That, that would be, that would be nice. I don't understand these levels, like, what, what, what's the point in having a sea mine every five feet? Like, it doesn't, that's not interesting or fun level design obstacles, it's just tedious. <laughs> it just means you have to constantly inch your way through the level. That's a nitro. So what's your general opinion on the crash free water levels? Only two of them and they're actually pretty bearable, all things considered. Yeah. Because I, I like the I, I like the water levels in Crash Free fine enough because uh, it's uh They're pretty narrow, all things considered. So you don't lose it's a lot harder to miss boxes. And they have a better sense of just how to make obstacles like a, a fun and fair challenge. Whereas this is just pretty much sea mines every five seconds and enemies you don't see until it's too late. It's just. Hmm. Not a fan. <laughs> Atmosphere, but these levels may be a little too dark for their own good. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. It's also just going back to the whole uh, dark color palette thing. Like, there's just. Oh, and stuff like that. I do. Mm. Mm. Like, I don't know. I we probably talked about it already, but like the they really, this game really could could have benefited from uh, a uh, brighter color palette or something, more vi something more vibrant. Because there's something about the cut the, uh, the colors in this game that just feel dull grayed out, I guess? I don't know. Oh. Are you gonna say something? <laughs> Color palette feels washed out to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Above you. <laughs> I think those were just nitros. That, that, that over there. Oh. I don't think that's anything. Nah, it's just a random hole. 
That would be pretty cool if that was a secret. <laughs> Man. That makes me, uh, that reminds me actually, uh, I just had this idea of, um, like, what if they, what if they're, like, in a, a crash free, um, uh, Egyptian level, uh, you could, like, just platform on some, like, random, um, not scenery, but just ju jump on some random objects and then. It will leave, and then uh, th there'd be like an opening in the ceiling that you can jump to, and it'll like, and it'll act as like a secret pathway to a gem or something. Like, just a random idea I had. Like, what if they had? What if they like added, like added, like secret paths like that? That would be cool. Like, make you, Finally. make you uh, <clears throat> experiment with the level design a bit. Yeah, I don't, like, you feel so relieved when you get to play as Crash. Oh, jeez. See, I can't, I can barely see any of these. Like, oh, crap. Right. Screw it, just, just go. I saw that box ticking. Hmm. Where would you, how would you I feel? Can't tell some of those. Oops. Jellyfish, I can't tell if some of those jellyfish are like in the background or actually in the foreground. Yeah, right. Oops. Oh, this is gonna get annoying now. On the bow. Yeah. Now, how would you f how would you feel if they like did, did something like that? Like, mate. Make like a, a gem path, like a, se a secret area, you have to just find in the level. It depends on how it's set up. I yeah. Know. It'd be like. like I, think... I like secrets until I can't find them, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I get, I'm, the way I'm thinking it is, it is basically similar to like finding a secret exit in like a 2D Mario game or something. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, depends on what they have hidden there. If it's like just, yeah. uh, hey, look, it's a secret. Faster warp route, faster portal for like speed running for the benefit of speed running. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Hiding a gem, okay. Hiding a crate. <laughs> yeah, maybe not hide crates there. That's a bit much. Is there anything here? No. Like, I, I'd put, like, I, I would just put, like, a, a, se a secondary level gem or, like, a, a, like, a warp or something. It, in a sense, it would be, like, finding a secret warp in Crash 2, I guess. So it's not too far from that. Is that? I don't know, it's a weird looking thing, isn't it? Uh, is anything... Yeah. Okay, I think you can die by getting squished by the cr uh, the boxes, yes. so... I've, I've, I remember that happening in Crash 1. Yeah, so let's just be careful. Yeah, I think I lost one of the Aku Akus. I just heard the uh, sound. Jeez. Yeah, well, at least we're alive. These levels have no room. Another huh? checkpoint just shortly after the last one. Yeah, they know. They know. Oh, I got hit again. Did... These levels have no right to take this long. Like, why? Also, that thing is an enemy, so be careful. It's not a background object. I was thinking more about the smaller jellyfish that I occasionally see. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I think we're near the end. Yes! Okay, good. You know, it would be um, great if it was just like an end. Or see mine just drop before the portal. <laughs> if this was Kaizo, that would happen. The game already has so many nitrocates that I assumed it was a Kaizo. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh man, I imagine if we got like oh, didn't mean to hurt my mic. Uh, like a crash and like a crash Bandicoot maker, maker or something, and just have like um, what was it? What was the other water level? I forgot where they are. Tsunami. Well, so. second, second one for me. Yeah, but like it's like um, here we go. Um. Like Crash Bandicoot Maker, and then it's just, uh, like, what, like Crash Two, uh, Rough or Cortex Edition, where it's just nitros everywhere, <laughs> or something dumb. That's like that's one thing. Uh, I is I don't think it's ever gonna happen, but a Crash, a, a Crash Maker sounds like really really fun to me, just seeing what people can come up with. But I don't know how likely they'd be able to do that, because because um, the general like design of Crash would be, I, I'd imagine, like be more complicated to make work for that compared to like 2D Mario stuff, because you can just because literally, you can... hmm. I guess you could just uh, do um, do it like huge adventure style, so it would be mm. 2D. Yeah. Yeah, cause they it, with the with like one, two, and three, like insane trilogy or something. Like, I'd like to see it, but it's uh, I don't know how likely that is. What would you? How would you like find that? Be interested. Yeah. In many levels, but be interesting to see people try and create create stuff. Yeah. It would be cool if they like. Oh crap. There you go. Gonna have to take the hit for time. Oh crap. I thought I had to go down. No. Yeah. Favorite part. Yeah. I just, I just mash the attack button because I don't know what's coming up. Put down. Ah. Okay, good. Uh. Oh okay, yeah, I know there's nitros down there. Think anyway. Can't be. I can't be too reckless. There you go. Oh, I should. Yeah, I. Okay, there's gonna be things around. There's gonna be shenanigans in this uh, pipe, I believe. Yep. Yes. Alright. Right? Or it'll be on your left. Facing forward. Yep, oh, yep, there's another one. And random shark. I do not trust this game. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. That end bit is gonna cost me a bit, but whatever. What? Is the hope. Are you serious? We didn't even get enough. Oh, wow. We were too slow. We have to do it again. These levels suck. I feel like that should have at least been a sapphire. Come on. Oof. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be be here for a, a little bit, I guess. So, uh, what's, uh, what are some other series you'd want to see like a maker game out of? I can think of a couple. Kirby. 
Oh yeah, that'll be interesting. The two main ones I I, I want um, would be like a Zelda one. Like I don't know if, the, if they'd be able to make like an a full on overworld thing, but um, I like to see. Dungeons would be neat. Yeah, like just make a simple dungeon creator or something would be cool. I'd be down with that. But um. Uh, was it Don I, I'd like a Donkey Kong Country uh, maker. You can have multiple styles: classic country, jungle beat, and modern country. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, mm. I don't know if jungle beat would be in it because it it is basically it will basically be like the Mario, dang it, the Mario two of um Donkey Kong, in the sense that the play style is just completely different. So, don't know how likely that will be. I'd like to see that though. Alright, uh, Donkey Kong Country, classic Donkey Kong Land, 8 bit, and then modern country. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is the obvious Mega Man maker. Oh, yeah, wasn't there, like, something... Didn't there used to be, like, a Mega Man maker around? Official? I don't know. Because I remember... Mm, I never w saw it myself, but I heard about one. I've, uh, Lewis and someone else could probably tell us later. This does tire you out after a while. Oh man. Mines all day. How's the weather been? Oh, uh, it's been all right. Nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, don't go near me, please. Okay, if I rush the this. Mines. Okay. And then this one, wait for. Yeah. And that guy's just waiting for you. Okay, I think we're in the clear. This better be good enough, because I ain't doing this again. <laughs> we kind of have to. Dude. Well, yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> Yay! Platinum version, the slow times are relatively decent. Yeah, they're not actually that bad. Are you sure you don't have the platinum version? Um, well, the the the, the cover is just the normal version. So I don't know. Just saving, just to be safe. Also, um, how many how many uh, how do I make it go faster? A, a circle. Yeah, we have seven relics and we still don't have it yet. I don't do it. Hmm. And now we have to do this! Uh, man. I, I'm just. Oh, hi. 
to the weather here. I a wimp. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just doing these now because I know, uh, if I don't, I, I'll, I'll hate my, my past self later and just be like, well, when we had to go back for the other relics, because I don't want to do these later. So, get the, get the garbage out of the way. So I guess we just have to beat Cortex, uh, before we do... The sex warp room, which is really weird, because like in this game, it's it all of the all those levels uh, are y unique. And, you know, hit the timer before you broke all those crates. Hmm. Uh, that could have been a thing there. You can try. Nah. But, uh, yeah, there's there's literally no secret exits at all in, at all in this game, um, which is unfortunate. But you know, whatever. Ah, uh, so you got any? Dang it! You got any like? Think anything to talk about while we go through this? <laughs> Every time we try to be topical. We realize it dates our it dates our <laughs> these videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm like I look back at the Sparrow Two vid uh, ending where we talked about uh, who's gonna be in Smash, and uh, like that that game that playthrough got uploaded like right uh, a bit after E three, so it was completely irrelevant at that point. So, what topic should we uh, do? We uh, do we have to make uh, us uh, make it irrelevant this time? <laughs> Let's talk about Cuphead on Switch. Oh yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. I, I like that we're getting getting that game on the Switch. I'm still not sure if I'll, I'm gonna double dip though, because I'll mean restarting the game from scratch, and I'm not sure if I want to do that. If you want more Microsoft content in Nintendo games or, or Nintendo systems in general, you better double dip. I guess so, yeah. Oh, that's scary. I mean, I wouldn't mind having on the Switch. Can this thing, like, not be her? Thing's, that thing's body is all jaw. Yeah. Um, hello? Oh, dang Thank it. Thank you. Yeah, I think that was a whole hole. I, yeah. I can tell sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game I think is... my favorite part of the Nindies Direct was the end with... <laughs> was the end with the, uh, uh what was it called? What was it called? Zelda yeah, Necromance? No, something. Something of rhythm? What, what is it? Rhythm on the Necromance or something? the Necrodancer and the Zelda crossover. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I, I've seen Jason play the uh, original game. It looks pretty cool. I might, I might try and check the series out and um, see what the Zelda one has to offer. I think this is the first time we've get, ever gotten to play a Zelda in a top-down Zelda game, even if it's more of a spin-off than anything else. Mm. It's funny how uh, oh, wait. Spear tracks. I forgot. Oh, uh, technically, yeah, I guess. Um, but um, it's funny how uh, Zelda's been getting a lot of um spin-off treatment. Really, uh, like we got like so many versions of Hyrule Warriors at this point. <laughs> I'm not sure if we really need one, to be honest. Body is still not playable. Who? The main villain of Minish Cap and Four Swords. Oh, Varty. Alright. Oh, um, I want to see Groose. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much done with the original Hy Hyrule Warriors. I, I definitely get a sequel if they do that, but... 
Yeah, I, I, I'm completely burnt out of the original. Wouldn't mind a Xenoblade Warriors. I can see that happening, yeah. I don't know how many... Mm. I, 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 mm. you can, you could probably squeeze in like tw twenty or so characters if you tried. We got three games and Fire Emblem Wars roster is pretty much just three games. That's true, yeah. Because um, you could, you could pretty much just have all of Xenoblade One and Two's cast in, <laughs> to be honest, or the, the the main cast, I should say. Because I know Xenoblade 2 has something something to do with like blades and stuff. And like each blade is like an actual character. So you have materials to work with there for like just random side stuff, I guess. I don't know. I need to get back and start playing more Fire Emblem Warriors because I only played a bit of that. You could also expand. It's a past Xenoblade, it includes Xenosaga and Xenogears, that would be interesting. Oh. Oh, man. Why are these... Mm. What are these games... How much of these games do you know? Because I, I I only know they exist. I've never played any of them. Okay. So your knowledge is about as much as me. <laughs> I guess so. I just know that Monolith Soft or whatever they were back in the 90s. Had a hand in all of them. Mm, yeah. Come on. Might check. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know if I'd play any of them, but I might check them out, see what they're about. They're probably, there's probably like a, a video about them somewhere. Honestly, the mines should kill the enemies. Um, mm. So what, um, like post Naughty Dog Crash games have you played? All of them. All, all of them? All of them? For like, team racing. Mm, okay. So how? Uh, so wait, there's um, Crash Four, Twin Sanity, um, or Bravo Cortex, if you want to be like, uh, more accurate. Let's uh, get <laughs> this. All this sucks. Uh, there's a Titans games. There's a bunch of racing games, and there's the two GBA games. Uh, there's a lot of post Naughty Dog stuff. What, 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 which ones would you say stand out to you the most, for better or worse? Uh, better, um, DS, Mind of a Mutant, Mutant Adventure, and Entranced. I enjoyed what little I played of Twin Sanity. Mm, okay. Twin Sanity would. Uh, Twin Sunday would probably be my favorite post Naughty Dog Crash. From what I've played, I, I keep in mind I haven't played any of the spin-offs. Uh, and like you ever the played Crash Bash. Nope. Uh, well, I I ten, ten not the full game. I played like a, the demo on Hero like demo. <laughs> yeah, I played the Spyro Three demo. Uh, the, the the demo that was in Spyro Three for a little bit. Um, I thought it was alright, but, uh, it's not, um, it wasn't enough for me to really have a proper opinion about it. And, uh, I'm, I'm just waiting to, for the Crash Team Racing remake to play that. Because I played, I played the, um, I played a demo of that as well, and I, 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 I need time to get con uh, used to, to the controls, because I... I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> Just... Toss. Hmm? Power slide at all costs. 
Yeah. Uh, would, do you have like a favorite Noid or uh, post Noid or game? <clears throat> Never finished Wrath of Cortex and didn't play much of Twin Sanity, so I didn't have. I couldn't really make a full judgment call. Mm, okay. Uh, what about the uh, Titans games? Between the two of them, uh, Mind of a Mutant is better. Okay. Yeah. The DS is actually pretty good, but if the load is like just too. Mm. The DS is good, the levels are just too long and don't have enough checkpoints. Ah, okay. Um. Does it. Well, is it at least free from crappy water levels like this? Okay, good. It's instantly better than this game. <laughs> okay, may maybe not, but... <laughs> I don't know. I have to play it, but uh, Crash, Titan Crash of the Titans DS is something I'm interested in playing eventually. That's a question. Uh, is it, like, available on, like, the Wii U eShop or anything like that? No, for whatever reason Activision never re-released any of the GBA and DS crash games on virtual console. Oh, that's d disappointing because I, I had to like I had to emulate a, a, a huge adventure. That's the that's the only side not side game issue I don't know how to exp how to say it but game that's not part of the console the main console platformers I guess. That's the only one I, I that's the only one I played really. Like to completion. You, like you can tell that it was um, it was heavily inspired by Crash Two and Frey, but I thought it was pretty good. It was even less ambitious than this game, but I guess it did a better job emulating Naughty Dog stuff. Yeah, it, it's the it's left this game. At least, uh, it feels like a, a step in a new direction uh, compared to Huge Adventure. But at the same time, I would still rather play Huge Adventure because it's like the level design is more enjoyable to me, and it feels more legitimately challenge challenging. Whereas like when this game's difficult, it feels unintentional, which is not really something I want. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, race to see you, mine. Lol. Oh man, they give me a lot of time boxes here. Let's go. Reward for surviving the sub. Yep. Oh, okay. I don't want to get crushed here. Okay, we should be near the end. Oops. Yolo mode at this point. Yeah. Don't want to be too careless because he only got two hit points. Come on. Go! Come on, come on. Come yeah! On, come on. Never again. We never had to touch this level again. <laughs> Remaster. Woo! Every day we're getting out of these bad levels. Woo! I don't know. Oh, man.